Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator and The Learning Artist. Today I'm going to talk about an app on my phone that you can download for free from the App Store. And this is an Android app. I have a Pixel 8 Pro that you can use for color matching. Uh, where you can bring in a photograph, highlight a color, and it'll tell you the mixtures of colors. All right, now, before we go on, I'm using an app uh, to cast my phone to the screen. Uh, it, I, I have the free version, and that means I only get in a certain amount of time before I have to just reset. Okay, it's not reset my whole uh, OB, OBS. Uh, I just have to... Uh, reinitiate the share okay of my screen so you'll see me do that every once in a while uh, but you'll get the idea the most important part of this video is the actual uh, color mixing app all right and it's down here on the bottom where it says that I don't have a pointer but you see where it says planes underneath the time you see planes live and then right next to it you see color mixer that's the app all right and that's available from the app store and it's called color mixer and it's by I idea matters okay so download that app it's free okay if you're doing digital art you won't have to pay a thing if you're doing painting like i am oil painting and you use a particular brand of paint then pay the four dollars and 29 cents and you'll get palettes of different paint companies i use winsor newton and it's in there i use both their acrylics and their oils and those both of those palettes are in there plus if you build models tamia is in there on all different all different uh brands of paints are there for you to use okay let me reset here real quick get this up and going again all right so if you go to the app store download color mixer if you want particular paints uh pay four dollars and 29 cents to unlock all the different palettes all right now i'm going to start color mixer and we're going to unmix from a photograph so i'm going to hit this green bar that says unmix and I'm going to hit the icon, the third icon from the left at the top. The third one actually is a left and right button, but the picture of the screen right there. And then we're going to pick a photo. Okay. And what we're going to do is a current pain, painting that I'm working on is this falcon in a dive. All right. And we can zoom in to let's say i want to find out what co what color this blue it's actually white but shadows nevertheless uh, i want to mix this color to block in my falcon in my paint job right so it says queen blue and down at the bottom you'll see that custom unmix if you hit that and you choose a palette if you see, right now it's on the RAL colors palette, that would be helpful for digital. I'm going to hit the down arrow and I'm going to choose the Windsor uh, oil colors. And right off the bat, it's going to say that see where the number one, two, and three and four is. Automatically, it's going to say mix these colors to get that color. All right. Now, I may not have all of those colors in my palette uh, or I know I, I have the ultra uh, the French ultramarine and I also have the thalo blue, but I don't have Prussian or Payne's gray. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the app the actual colors that I actually have available to me. So I'm going to turn off by just clicking the one, turn off the gray, and I'm going to turn off the emerald green. Okay. Now I have two colors that I can make the gray, right? So I can come down here and I can choose ivory black 
and I can come down here and choose titanium white and then I can hit the unmix with selected colors and it's going to tell me the amount of each one of the colors in my palette that I can use to make that color. All right. Now, I usually like to choose the closest HSL, okay, hue, saturation, and lightness, okay. Those have always given me the best, uh, the best choice of mixing those colors, right? Okay. So in this particular case, I would use. All right, and if you notice up in the right hand corner, it says parts. If I hit that button, I get percentage. Okay, so I would probably choose the closest HL, uh, HSL color to the target color, unless one of these other colors were actually closer. Okay, so to get that Queen's blue, if I choose clo closest. HSL hue saturation and light okay I see that I need 61% of the French ultramarine is that right uh, no 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 I think the 17% is the French ultramarine let me go back titanium white oh phthalo blue that's right phthalo blue Okay, so we go back to here. Whoops, hold on, I gotta catch up here. Gotta hit my refresh here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so it's for that closest HSL, I have 11 parts phthalo blue, uh, French ultramarine, 3 parts phthalo blue, and 4 parts titanium white if I want to see the percentage I just change that from parts to percentage and I get 61 17 and 22 percent then on my palette all I do is I take the front I just get out the French ultramarine I get out the phthalo blue and I get out my titanium white and I mix according to these percentages and it will be pretty darn close to that to that uh, queen blue target color at the top Okay, it may not be exact. Okay, you may not get it exact based if you, especially if you don't have all the colors in the Windsor Newton palette. If you do, then just use it, just use the colors it tells you right off the bat. Okay, if you have every one of those Windsor Newton colors, all right. But I don't, I usually only have like uh 10 11 colors from their palette. Um, I don't need, I can mix colors in order to make other colors, all right? But uh, Color Mixer is an extremely useful tool. Uh, I use this in almost all of my painting, especially the aircraft that I paint. Those colors are the hardest to match, okay? But uh, not so much in my, in my landscape paintings, uh, but for my aircraft painting and for pets, animals, and stuff that I paint, I'll use this color mixer to get me in the ballpark, okay? I don't have all the mixing memorized, so I need some help. So download this color mixer and use that to get you going in the right direction to mix your colors, okay? Uh, you might have to adjust here and there, like uh, in this particular color, I might have to add maybe a little bit of another color that's not in my palette. I might have uh, maybe some ivory black or I might have some other color that I can add to it to get it even closer. But I would, in this particular case, I would use those three colors, the phthalo blue, the ultramarine, and the uh, titanium white, and it will get very, very close to that target color of queen's blue all right so this is using color mixer like i said if you do digital art if you're making textures uh looking at pictures of buildings and your airports and stuff and you want to match a particular color this will tell you the color that you need not only not physically mixing the colors but it will give you a hex code 
of the color. Matter of fact, look at the top. Look at this queen's blue. Okay. That's queen's blue is from the photograph. Okay. Let's say if I was doing digital art, my hex code is right there. 45719 Charlie. Okay. So I would type that in as my hex code and I'll get that color that I would use. That's how I use it. That's how I find a color that I'm looking for um, for doing scenery creation. All right. So anyway, I hope this helps, especially you artists that are that struggle with color mixing. I think you're going to find Color Mixer um, a very useful app in your painting whether you're oil painting acrylics watercolors whatever or if you're building models and you need a uh, tamiya paint and you want to know what colors to mix to get that uh, particular color uh, correct all right so i hope you guys find this video useful uh, the app is free if you want additional palettes it'll cost four dollars and 29 cents and you'll have all the different palettes available to you matter of fact let's uh bring this down and let me open up the palettes we have you see all the different palettes that they have tamiya paints uh guns paints uh vallejo and testers paints ak interactive paints all right so there's all these different palettes that you can use okay but those cost the four dollars and 29 cents to get all those palettes well i hope this finds you well and i wish you luck in all your painting and i will see you guys on the next video we'll see you later